So I've been debating if I should do this video. Um, I had a really good weekend. Uh, I got to meet a lot of people. And this is kind of a somber thing. I, I promise I'm gonna, gonna put some uh, cringy music behind to make you feel bad. Um, I got to meet a lot of people. Uh, got tons of compliments from people that um, they never met me before. They've only seen my videos and I was extremely flattered, humbled. Um, I don't feel like I deserved it. And, you know, I, I've never really had people really, really care. I mean, obviously I got friends and family and my fiance and they care, but I've never really felt like very many people really cared about me. And, you know, meeting all these people that like I said, all over the United States, even across the sea, uh, got together and hung out. And, um, you know, I, I felt like I belonged finally. Um, but, but there's something that's been eating me. And uh, I want to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm not okay. Uh, I, you know, I look fine sometimes on the outside. Um, maybe if you've seen me at the thing, you may have noticed that, um, you know, I, I was kind of standoffish. Um, but I'm not okay. Uh, not, I'm going to hurt myself, not okay. It's, uh, I'm, uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm dealing with right now. Things that I've, I can't really process it. Uh, process it all and this isn't like me complaining or m me trying to make you feel sorry for me um, you know I I talk a lot about mental health um, you know I even offered even my enemies uh, help if they needed help with their mental health and sometimes I like I'm very open about things um, you know right now I'm dealing and these are good things. Don't get me wrong. I'm very thank thankful. Um, it's just I've never been able to accept that I'm good enough. After all these years, you know, the last, you know, almost decade's been hell. Um, a lot of bad things has happened. And all these things are, all these good things are happening now. And I don't know how to process it. Um, I've never experienced something like this. Uh, you know the YouTube channel. It's it's blowing up a little bit. Um, you know I'm making new friends. I'm getting a promotion at work. I'm getting married. Getting a new place. Um, there's all these things that are happening, and it's amazing. And I don't. And, and it's not like I'm not trying to feel thankful about it. But there's some things that's going on behind the scenes. Um, that I haven't really talked about. Maybe uh, I've maybe brought it up maybe once or twice. Um, so <laughs> I I didn't have like you know whenever I was growing up like my parents uh, they they got a divorce. Uh, my dad um, was a bit abusive, uh, a, a drunk. He used to sell all of our stuff. Um, all kinds of crap. And, and, you know, that's kind of cheesy and this triggered. Uh, you know, I get triggered by things. Uh, I, I can't get in fights with people. Like, uh, it's hard for me to argue with somebody. Um, and you'll see, if I was starting to argue with somebody, you'll see me shaking. Um, because it just, it really gets to me. Uh, you know, I don't even like to argue <laughs> with my enemies. That's, you know, I, I, I couldn't do a debate because I'm not good at it. And plus, uh, you know, I lose myself a little bit and sometimes go overboard. Um, but there's something uh, about that. Uh, my stepdad, he came into my life. Uh, you know, he and I never really looked... Uh, things the same way um, he was but he taught me how to work how to work hard how to be a man um, 
you know, even if maybe sometimes it's like he could be hard, but I, I would be hard. And I admit that I was an asshole when I was a kid. Um, you know, I, I thought I knew everything. I wanted to be, uh, lazy and just not do anything. And, you know, he pushed me to work and pushed me to do things that, um, you know, I never thought I would do like, I mean, I think, I think he's proud of me right now. Uh, and I think he's seen me fall. Um, and, you know, I thank him for everything. Um, every big thing that's been going on in my life. I, you know, uh, and I'm sorry. Um, so my stepdad, um, he's my dad. Um, you know, I've got a biological dad, but my stepdad, I feel like he's my dad and it hurts me because, uh, he's got cancer. Um, and So I, you know, I, I got pissed off the other day whenever Chili said the thing about, I hope your kids have bone cancer. I hope you get cancer. And, you know, it, it pissed me off more than it should have, honestly, because people, and I've said stupid things. I've said really dumb things um, that I'm not proud of. And, you know, we're all human. We all say stupid things. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. And I haven't spent as much time with my family um, as I should. Um, I haven't spent much time with my friends. You know, I spent these last few years isolating myself. You know, when I get home, I just... I don't do anything. I sit on my computer. Um, and now all these great things are happening. All these people are ha uh, coming into my life. And I'm starting to get back to where I was. I I'm a whole lot better off than I was, you know, seven years ago when things started going to hell. And, you know, I, I got out of a relationship for seven years. Um, I lost everything I owned. And, you know, my stepdad, he was... You know, he always gave me some good advice. I'm hoping he makes it through this. Uh, it, it keeps on. It, we think it's gone. And it keeps coming back. Um, and it seems like it's coming back harder this time. Um, it's getting to the point where he has to go to uh, Ohio State um, to get help with this. I don't want him to feel like he's alone. And I don't want to lose him. I don't. Yeah, I like him to be there. When I, when I get married here in October. And just talking to him today, like hearing what he sounded like, like after a while, like he wants to come and help us move. And he's always been there, like whenever I moved to Illinois, when I moved to Mansfield, um, it's always been there, and he's always been supportive. And, uh... I feel like this is cringy putting this on the internet. Um, to get the sympathy card. You know, I know my detractors are going to have a field day if this. Um... I wouldn't wish any of this on the people I dislike as much as I hate I don't hate Chili as much as I like dislike Chili Laura Laguna Turtle Boy stuff like that I 
you know, I don't want anything like that to happen to them. I respect them that much and care about them that much. You know, I might seem harsh sometimes on people that I dislike, people that I think are bullies, but I still care about, you know, them mentally, what they're going through, what they're going through with their families. Um, and some people might not agree with me. Um, it just, it's just kind of hard because I feel like I'm not going to live up to him. He, uh, He stepped in to be my dad when my dad didn't want to be a dad. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm harsh on myself all the time. I'm hard on myself all the time because I don't want to be like my biological dad. Don't want to. He's trying to make amends. Um, still alcoholic. Uh, does stupid things. Uh, still a child. But my stepdad, like, I, I don't want anything to happen to him. Um, it would destroy my mom. Uh, you know, I almost lost my mom a little over a decade ago to brain aneurysm. And she is one of the hardest working people. One of my bestest friends in the world. And, you know, if somebody was to go, like, I... I, I get triggered when people talk about my family and friends and my fiance and you know I should get off the internet because that's the fucking bread and butter of the internet somebody's gonna make fun of you tear you down you know I'm gonna have people in the comments and be like you're a pussy look at you I hope you die I hope everybody dies um I'm gonna have that that's what that's you know but I want to be open with you guys I want to be Um, but I'm not okay, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I love you guys very much. Um, all the kind things you guys say. helps a lot it does it really does you know that fight the other day you know somebody came up to me and Monty and the misbits and was just saying these super nice things and I don't fucking deserve it, man. I don't feel like I deserve it. I'm done crying. I've been done doing that. I just wanted to let you guys know and be open. That I'm going through some shit. But. Even though all the good things are happening. This is one thing that's hurting me real bad I don't want him to go I love him and he will always be my dad no matter what happens he will always be my dad I'll see you guys soon